Welcome to Domestic Partners. If you live anywhere in proximity of a TV, you are probably knee deep in some serious March Madness shenanigans. Basketball galore. I mean, you probably also won't be able to talk to your significant other unless you brush up on some basketball terms. So we are teaching you all you need to know about March Madness. Welcome to Domestic Partners, where we talk food, drink, and in this case, all things basketball. We won't make you do any drills or read any handbooks, but we will teach you to fake it till you make it when it comes to March Madness. There are five easy tips and tricks to getting through this month, and here's number one, vocab. Brush up on a few keywords and phrases and then use them in sentences during the game and people will think you are so, so smart. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. I have no idea. Oh, uh, it's when you throw it in the air. Captain Hook. Oh, I know this one. It's when you slam it in the basket. Number two, have a good cheering mantra. And have one thing you can always say no matter what is happening in the game. And of course, wear the appropriate clothing for the team that you are cheering on. Go Lakers! Oh, they're an NBA team. And we're talking NCAA. It's okay, whatever. Moving on. Number three, know one person on the team and everything there is to know about them. Know what color, what their favorite color is, do they have any kids, are they married, where they like to have breakfast, how they take their coffee, where do they vacation. That way you can talk to someone and pretend you are totally in the know. And if they try and talk to you about someone else, just turn that conversation around and bring it back to your person. Oh my God, do you hear what happened with the Syracuse Orange Men in the tournament? Have you seen Kobe's girls after the game? They are so cute. They're so adorable. They have the cutest outfits of all time. And number four is to know when to comment about what just happened in the game. So download an app from ESPN and then you can learn all the stats, everything play by play. The only thing is that you need to make sure you're on 4G so that you get it as it happens. Nothing more embarrassing than some information about a play that happened five minutes ago. That would be super awkward. And our last tip of the day, know when to shut up. Nobody wants to talk to you during triple overtime, so grab yourself a michelada and cheers to that, and then stuff your face with some food. Speed things up, Dalkin. I'm almost ready for you. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. A michelada is basically a Mexican margarita meets a Bloody Mary, a little mm. bit of hot sauce, some soy, some lime juice, and beer. Might sound a little scary, but you make a picture of these and the party is ready to get started. Mm-mm. This week's Food for Thought is brought to you from the NCAA. Kind of. Not really. Not at all. March is the only time I place all my hopes and dreams in the hands of college students. That's it for this week's episode of Domestic Partners. Be sure to subscribe below. And if you want to brush up also on your football skills, go ahead and check out our game day video. See you next week.